Hello everyone, welcome back. I have an important question for you. What is a fish? I know there are gonna be people that sit here and say that every vertebrate is a fish. And like, they're not wrong. The first vertebrate was a fish. So if we're classifying that entire group, all the vertebrates, we're all fish. But for this video, we're not using the whole evolutionary definition of what a fish is. We're using the typical definition of what a fish is. An animal that has a bony skeleton, gills, and fins, not limbs. I'm not even gonna qualify that they live in water because some fish are weird and can survive in mud for like a super weird extended amount of time. Now that we know what a fish is and what definition we're using, there are a lot of things that don't fit within that definition that we still call fish. So here are a bunch of things that are definitely not fish. Number one, jellyfish. That's my mom's favorite. I also have a tattoo of one because it's my mom's favorite. Okay, sure, jellyfish live in the water, but they're not fish. They're not even vertebrates. In fact, only about 5% of their body is made out of solid materials. The rest of it is just water. Now, of course, jellyfish are known for their stinging abilities, but not all of them are incredibly painful. Specifically, moon jellies. A lot of people don't even really feel affected by them, myself included. That being said, please be careful around them because many of them are painful. Of course, the most toxic of all the jellies is the box jelly. There are a bunch of different species of box jellies, but only a couple of them are venomous enough to a human being, you know? But I personally am not taking any chances, so if I see a box jelly, I'm out. Number two, we're talking about the starfish, Mr. Patrick Star himself. Similar to the sea jellies, they're not only not fish, but they're also not vertebrates. And a lot of us treat their names the same way we treat the names of the sea jelly. Rather than starfish, we call them sea stars. The group these guys belong to are the echinoderms, so they're related to urchins. And something unique about echinoderms is that they're able to move around using something called tube feet. And these tube feet are given structure by water pressure. And interestingly enough, sea stars are predators. The perfect example of this is the sunflower sea star. The sunflower sea star is a sea star that has two dozen arms on it, is about three feet in diameter, and is a terrifying predator to other kelp forest invertebrates like snails, sea cucumbers, even other sea stars. So if you thought Mr. Patrick Star was innocent, Think again. They can even eat dead or dying squids. So in my head, there is a SpongeBob universe where Squidward gets sick and Patrick simply consumes him. I don't like that universe, but it popped up. So you have to deal with that thought now too. <laughs> Number three, we're talking about the silverfish. This one doesn't even live in water. <laughs> it is an insect that lives on land and it grosses me out. Silverfish are funny because I associate them with house hunting. Because when I was moving with my family at the age of 10, every house that we toured, it seemed like there was a silverfish in every single sink which actually makes a lot of sense because they thrive in dark and damp or humid environments. So a sink is a pretty common place to find them. Now, if you see them around your house every now and then, don't freak out. They're not really a hazard health-wise. They're mostly just irritating, in my own personal opinion. <laughs> and they're made even more irritating by the fact that we call them fish when they're insects. Oh, but apparently they eat starchy stuff, like certain types of glues. So if your wallpaper starts to peel off or your book bindings are losing structure, they could be a contributor. Number four, we're getting back into the ocean. We're talking about the cuttlefish, which is also an invertebrate, a cephalopod to be exact. There are a ton of different species of cuttlefish, like over 120 species of cuttlefish. And they're known for their wonderful color changing abilities with help from their color changing cells called chromatophores. You may have seen pictures of them using it for camouflage or hypnotizing prey so that they could catch it, things like that. Now you may have heard of something called a cuddle bone that comes from cuttlefish. But how could that be? I thought they were invertebrates. Yes, they are. But just like we call things that aren't fish, fish? In this case, we're calling something that isn't a bone, bone. What do words even mean anymore? The cuddle bone is basically an internal shell that they use to help with buoyancy control. And people give these bones to their birds for beak maintenance and a good source of calcium. Fascinating. Last but not least, number five, the sandfish. Also known as skinkus skinkus. This one is the most confusing because this animal is a lizard but they call it a sandfish because of the way it swims through the sand when they're burying themselves. It pushes itself into the sand using its limbs like a swimmer. Then once it's in the sand, it moves its tail side to side in order to continue swimming through the dunes. But it's very confusing because though this is a sandfish, there are also fish called sandfish. So then you can get into a weird conversation about, no, 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 I'm not talking about sandfish. I'm talking about sandfish. What? <laughs> now, of course, there are other examples like crawfish, also known as crayfish, which are a type of shellfish, none of those words of which describe an actual fish. Wow, isn't this fun? Moral of the story, common names are exhausting, which is why we have Latin names for like every species we've ever discovered. If we didn't, could you imagine the chaos? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you learned something new today or if you have other examples of non-fish, fish. You know what I meant. And as always, have a great day. Stay sharky, my friends.